Right then, a bit more videoing. I had to do a bit of recaying a minute ago because it, to save myself going on a wild goose chase. But I still might have one. But I don't mind because I should still come out in the direction of Triscombe Stone. So it doesn't matter if I don't come out near Will's Neck, the trig point, because I did that this morning. It would be handy to know the other route anyway. But it just seems to me at the moment I'm going downhill. <sighs> you know, whereas if I'd taken, there was a track back there, a rubbly old track. I know for sure if I'd taken that, <sighs> I'd get back up. Whereas I, this is sort of taking me down. But I, the thing is, it sort of needs to be done. <sighs> And if I'm going to do it, this is the day to do it. It's called the Greenway. It joins up with the Macmillan Way, eventually. I mean, you can get the Macmillan Way. It takes you all over Taunton Way. Some beautiful, beautiful house back there. You can see it's been, like, landscaped and personalised, you know, the architecture and everything. Beautiful. It's just the sort of thing I can imagine my Duncan or even his dad building a place like that. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely beautiful, but so isolated out here though, of course, don't forget. I don't even know how they get out. They must have to come up here in Land Rovers, I suppose. <sighs> now there is a small, very small track that I came up earlier that they could negotiate. Or they have to come along somewhere like this. If you really want to cut yourself off. I mean, this is a nice walk. And it's sheltered. I just want to make... I'll be alright once I know that where it comes out, I'll be okay. I always get a little bit anxious. I remember... I'm carrying on from the previous video along with the greenway. Quantock Greenway. It's looking very nice actually at the moment. It's a nice long safe route. It's sheltered. Um, but be, beyond the trees here there's magnificent views by the way. There's fields and hills. But this is actually, I mean you just wonder if the Romans built this. It certainly is a, a good track. But like I said, uh, when you're just on your own, you've got to um, make all the decisions. You can't bounce off anyone. Um, that's why I do sometimes, if someone's passing by and I'm a bit... Uh, what it is, I'm not bothered really, but it's easier if you ask somebody sometimes just to get another idea. But most people I ask don't have a clue. I've asked so many people in all sorts of situations, directions. Oh, I don't know if any Billy around one couple of days. Oh, oh no, I, I don't know. I know that way, love. Oh. I mean, look, I'm 66 and I'm only just discovering all these beautiful roots of my English countryside. I just wondered if Jude knew this place as well. Jude and Stuart. They knew about this route, but I don't know how they would do it because you could do a circular. You could do a Triscombe Stone circular where you go up to Will's Neck, go up to uh, Lydiard Hill, then back round here. You don't mind risking a little bit of a road. Now, look, hold on, there's a road here. What I've noticed though, it's not signposted very well. Right, there's a signpost there, and there it's got, this is the first pole I've seen for a while, Quantock Hills, Public Footpath, Quantock Greenway. Ah, uh, and here's, so we carry on this, we carry on, but that probably leads to that property I was talking about earlier. A beautiful, personally designed property, absolutely, I've taken photographs of it, and, uh, They've obviously got their road. Look, but I've just come out of that lane there. An old lane, I would have thought. I should end up, I believe I'm going to end up on a type of... 
more of a bridle path than anything but I think it, some it's going to be a bit like this or not as good as this I think I'm going to end up and that's going to take me up uh, to the Triscombe stone area but I've got absolutely no idea my in my head I feel like the trig point is straight up there that's, that's how I feel that it's just up there and I am pretty good with instinct where directions are concerned most of the time I am but I don't mind trying this route out because I'm trying to think of other circular walks I can do <sighs> just in case I want to visit West Bagber again and I think oh I think I'll do that because there's nowhere to park in these villages you know even if I brought old Berta over there's no parking not even by the church there's no parking at all so um it is very difficult I've still got a lot of Somerset treasures to do around this area as well I haven't spread out uh, I haven't done anything for nearly a year not, not really not new ones now if you look through there there's some beautiful scenery beautiful beautiful scenery I can even hear the steam the steam train from Minehead there's a steam train that runs through here somewhere and it stops near West Bagborough. I think there's a little station. Because I met these people that um, camp, camp round here. And they often go on the steam train. I've just heard it's, it's um, whistle. A minute ago. It comes through this valley. Right, over now I just want to take a picture of this scene. There's going to be lots of snippets of videos joined together, by the way, because the the camera plays up in the heat and will turn itself off and sometimes it doesn't save. So I have to do short videos and then join them up.